What is up guys, new hero for the month of March, Punchline in the hero challenges. We're gonna complete the hero challenges, we're gonna unlock her, we're gonna legendary unlock her, review her kit, look at her abilities, and kind of give you my, I don't know, overall first impressions of the new tune for the month of March, at least for the hero challenges, not in Siege. We do have raids going on right now, so hopefully everybody's doing well in those. And, uh, you know, we shouldn't really have a problem doing these. We're going to read the dialogue along the way. I don't know really a lot or anything about Punchline. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to be interested in seeing what uh, tag she has, what affiliation she has, what her kit looks like. I've not checked any of that out already. As far as what tunes we're going to use to complete this challenge, Nightwing, I really haven't leveled him up or done anything on this account. I'm just throwing him in there because, well, he gives evasions to himself. And um, Jesse Quick will be able to give him evasions. I think he'll be fine with his sustain. He gives out awarenesses and stuff. And then uh, Star Sapphire. And then the other two, which are level 70 tunes. I think both of Jesse Quick and Hawk Girl will probably do all the work. Uh, Poison Ivy. Oh, you must be Joker's new girlfriend. You know what? That is right. After Harley Quinn, Punchline came around as joker's little sidekick i think i remember that actually now uh, my condolences uh what are you in for dr lillian right i've heard about you you should thank me for keeping joker away from your prison wife trust me you should run away as far as you can are you branching out to couples therapy no pun intended I didn't mean from Joker, I mean from Harley once she finds out you're here. Yeah, Harley's probably going to be the very last one. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Uh, then I better send her a message with you. And now we got Scarecrow. I'm going to assume, I guess, from the start of it, it's going to be all the Gotham and stuff. But uh, Punchline, are you Dr. Jonathan Crane? It's been a while since anyone called me that. I'm a big fan of your work. Very entertaining. However, not very efficient. Regardless, I think we can make a good team if we wanted to. Say, break out of here. Um, Punchline doesn't really look too much like a villain, does she? I haven't seen her legendary costume, but um, yeah, she doesn't look like a villain to me. I don't know. Not very efficient. Would you rather a vulgar, a flavorless crime? Not at all, but combining lethality and chaos is an art. Would you be interested in helping me in exchange for a demonstration? Why not? There's nothing to be afraid of. All right, now we have a Harley, which I'm kind of relieved that Harley wasn't in the last tune. I mean, maybe she will be, but we're still early, like 7,000, 8,000 power for their total team. I was going to be a little worried if she was at the very end because she can certainly be a pain in the butt when she's all leveled up. Anyways, hi, sweetie. First time in Arkham and you're already planning a mutiny. Why don't we hang out a little longer? I really don't have time for this, Harleen. Don't call me that. Why are you still using that name Joker gave you? Oof. Listen, I just want to talk. After some serious therapy with the voices in my head, I wouldn't touch Joker unless it was with a flamethrower. And I only say this once, but a pro proactive girl like you, wait, a, pro a provocative girl like you, uh, planning a breakout on her first date in Arkham, you deserve better. Proactive? Yeah, proactive girl like you. I, I appreciate the unsolicited advice, but there's a difference between us. Joker and I are equals. If he still wanted a doormat, he wouldn't have dumped you. Ouch. Cat claws are out. Uh, cute. Let's see if tenderizing that little brain of yours will make it easier for you to reason. Yes, it was Harley all the way up to the very last node. The second to last node is Harley as well. So that one is a little bit challenging if you don't have the right team comp. And it looks like the very last node looks like we're going to have Joker. So uh, that's actually probably, probably better than uh, Harley. Anyway. He kind of figured it was going to be Joker. I mean, it's his new thing. So I guess that had to be it. Uh, where have you been? Things are almost ready for us to get out of here. You're making it sound like I was hiding from you when I've done nothing but miss you. Oh, I'd be more flattered if you had been making plans for when we get out of here. Those are not mutually exclusive. I have a special date prepared for tonight and I've been getting stronger. Show me. 
Okay. So, uh, since Nightwing is really low, he is really low, uh, I got to start it with, you know, some protection for him. At least that way he can uh, build up some evasions, build up some awarenesses by using his basic. He is just uh, L1, but he's only like level 30, so he's really nothing any special. Anyways, oh, actually, you know what? I gotta heal him up first. Once I heal him up, then I'll be okay. Put some crit immunities on there, get him another evasion, get him another awareness. Heal him up, and then from this point on, just watch Jesse and Hawk Girl do the rest. I mean, Jesse definitely pairs really well with Nightwing, uh, giving out those evasions and then um, the awarenesses that he applies to himself. So, and and evasions that he applies with himself with his basic. So, if you have the legendary on Nightwing's basic, it'll give him, I think, three evasions and one awareness for his legendary and then jesse quick goes so many times once she gets ramped up that uh she gets awarenesses too or evasions too to everybody anyways got the stun on joker immediately so that's pretty much going to be gg i think joker probably won't get a chance to go again probably not uh this team on auto is so slow um, Hot Girl's attacks, her basic attacks, are so slow, and then with Star Sapphire with the men's, it like drags out each of the turns really long, and then some of them have double, triple attacks. It certainly has taken a while to, even on auto, to go through this. So you see that pause, like, in between when they're mending. Probably get a stun on Joker one more time from Hot Girl? Maybe? No? Guess not. Hey, she did get a stun on the other one, though. But still, he, you know, got his first turn right there and only was able to do his basic. So, yeah, the last node with Joker is certainly a lot easier than it was with Harley. I mean, Harley, when she does her evasions, or when she does her taunt, gets her evasions, and then, like, gets more evasions when you miss. There's no can't-miss tunes on here, so it makes it, you know, a little bit challenging. The last node was super easy. Uh, not bad. Maybe I should just leave you here at training. When you get lonely, I would without you. Hey, Scarecrow. Don't mean to interrupt your reading of Shakespeare, but it's about time we got out of here. We'll continue this conversation later. All right, let's legendary unlocker. Check out our abilities. Read her bio real quick. Injustice League for her affiliations. Uh, uses her knowledge of poisons to spread disease among enemy lines. Hinder their abilities while staying invisible. Uh, the greatest contribution she could make to the world was to aid Joker in the search for chaos. The new right-hand woman. Student of chemical engineering with a, or a particular apathetic view of the world until she met Joker on a field trip. How do you meet Joker on a field trip? What field trip were they doing where they would meet Joker? Decided to do uh, research his work and use her knowledge to assist his witches, earning him a spot at the right hand woman. Okay, so met her. She was in school for chemical engineering or whatever, and then met Joker on a field trip. That's I don't know. I'm kind of I wonder what field trip they had to be doing to to be able to do that. I do like her skin though. Her basic skin I really like. So I'll be interested to see. She doesn't, like I said, she doesn't really look like too much of a villain to me. That definitely looks villainish. Obviously, that's going to be her skin for her legendary rank up. I kind of like the old one better, though. I like just the basic one a little bit better. I mean, that one still looks good, too. I mean, that one's still cute. But uh, I definitely like the, probably the basic one better. Anyways, uh, abilities. Toxic relationship. Damage to an enemy. Apply disease. Disease goes up. Damage goes up. And then also gain three men's. Hmm. I'm not really a big fan of men's. I mean, I don't know. It's just men's. Damage and 50% chance to become invisible. Uh, damage and chance all go up. Looks like probably to 100%. And then 50% chance to apply three empowered stamina ups on a random ally who's injured below 60% of their total HP. I don't like that one either because 
One, it's 50% chance. And two, they gotta be below 60% anyway, which means they're kind of close to death. All right, explosive reaction. Damage 50% to apply buff immunity to all enemies. That's a good one. And the chance looks like 16, 16, 18. That's gonna go up to 100%, I think. Damage also goes up and then legendary apply doom on a random enemy. Yay. There is a worthless one um, So so far her first three legendary points. I'm not really the biggest fan of uh, Yeah, uh, friendly fire. All right Passive ability when an ally is hit 40% chance to apply one disease that, that ignores immunities on the attacker Looks like disease is gonna go up to three and chance is gonna go up to 66, uh, 30, no, that's 70%. The so 70% chance to apply three diseases when an ally is hit, that is actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Uh, every single time an ally is hit, 70% of those times you apply three diseases to the enemy. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Uh, also apply buff immunity. The, this one right here has definitely got to be the first legendary you do. This has got to be legendary. I don't even care what this number five is. This one's got to be number one. I mean, you're going to be applying buff immunity constantly. Um, obviously, you know, they're going to have counters to that. People that have uh, debuff immunity, so... Anyways, uh, last one, passive, if an enemy has disease, 65% chance to apply one strength down at the start of an enemy's turn. Strength down goes up to two. And uh, the chance goes up to 28, 35, 100%. So that's 100% for the disease. Start the battle with invisibility and one empowered stamina up. I didn't see anything in the kit that said anything about if she's invisible. Like, what does it matter if she's invisible or not? I mean, obviously, her being invisible has an impact on other tunes, kind of has some synergy with other tunes with her being invisible. But it doesn't really help her too much, except obviously not getting hit. But anyways, uh, that is her kit. I really like the four. That's got to be your number one. That's definitely got to be your number one. And I don't know, by the rest of them, the Doom, that's going to be last. It doesn't matter. That's last. And then I would say the five. I mean, I really don't like the other ones. So I'm going to go the, the four first and then do the five second. Uh, do the three last. And then do... I guess do the two and then the one. All right, last thing we're gonna do is uh, check out these animations of her abilities and see what those look like. If you haven't seen them already, I have not seen them already. So uh, we'll start with three. We gotta put it on one time speed. We'll start with a three damage and a 50% chance to apply buff immunity to all enemies. Of course, all of those, the chances and everything go up. But uh, point of this obviously is just to see these. That's really cool. I, I like that. That's a fantastic ability. I mean, buff immunity on all of the enemies. Um, I did not check her speed, so I'm kind of curious how her speed compares to everybody else. All right, we'll check the two. This is damage and 50% chance to gain invisibility. It looks like a single target this time. That one's okay. Uh, the, the third ability, the ultimate, is definitely where it's at. I definitely really like that one. And then let's see if the one has an animation or anything. She throws the knives every single time. I like that. I didn't see how many attacks she actually did with that. Um, let me actually look at it one more time. Damage applied disease on a single enemy. So it looks like it only hits once even though she throws multiple knives anyways that's gonna do it for the video alexis k punchline let me know in the comments what you think about her good luck in the raids this weekend hopefully everybody does well my alliance actually two guys in my alliance is absolutely killing it 
Uh, without them, I don't know where I would be in this month's raid because my team, not like last month, last month I did really well. This month, not as much, but these two guys on my line is absolutely smoking it. Either way though, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. I will see y'all next time. Y'all take it easy. We're out. Peace.